Hi, Eric here from Laser Scanning TV, Laser Scanning Europe. And in this episode, uh, we speak about the entry class for 3D laser scanner from the Faro World, the Faro M70. I have it here in the box. I bring you all specs to the system and the most important application. If you are interested, stay tuned here. Laser scanner friends, let us start and look in the box uh, what I get here. It's a brand new system what we get here in our fleet. Uh, I have it here. To beginning, I think not all of, um, the guys who look in this episode maybe know what a terrestrial laser scanner is. For this guys, I make a short explanation. This is a terrestrial laser scanner from the company Faro. It works like um, we need laser. We have here in this part Here's a laser unit inside. We have also camera inside. Here's a motor inside who runs this mirror. We have an additional motor who is internal in the system who can turn the system. We have here is a battery case inside, a battery um, inside what runs four and a half hour. And we have a display on the other side. How it works, the laser goes out, hit the mirror and go out and get a passive reflection object coming back going to the unit. The unit measured with a phase shift um, um, massive the, the way to your object. And uh, this uh, runs very fast. Uh, we can go here maximum for 80,000 measurements per second. Uh, also a lot of measurements and then we turn also the mirror. This means we get a full laser beam uh, like 360 degrees but we don't capture the housing of the system. And then we turn the whole system 360 degrees mm -hmm. to the axis. And this means we get a full dome view, like in 3D panorama view, 360 degrees, all direction. This is what we get. We got also information, not only the, like this mirror presentation and the angle gives you in 3D coordinate, but the system can also measure reflection difference, like black to white. He can measure this and show you this. And if you need color, here's an integrated camera. After that, he can make an, uh, a panorama one capture color information like a 360 degrees uh, color picture and we can overlay the point cloud with the picture. That is the basic workflow. Uh, I start the scanner here. It's maybe uh, took a little bit time. Now it's starting. Why I started is I show you this. We have here the big display in the system. Um, many people say, oh, can I run it by mobile phone? That's also possible. But I like the display. Because the, the, the display make you uh, and, and the um, option to run, um, give you all your information here inside and see the results make you independent from any connection. Like if you going in, they have an inland, in, internal VLAN hotspot. If you maybe go in a big uh, fabric where you have big machines, big motors, maybe you have an electromagnetic uh, uh, field there and your VLAN connection is not running stable. I like that, that you have these option to run everything from the system out. That's my personal point. The main important is if you come from the Faro world, what's the difference to the more higher series systems? It's uh, one is um, what or most customer ask me, what is the difference? The difference are two points. One is uh, the accuracy of the system. This have a systematic distance error from plus minus three millimeters on 25 meters on a white surface or the, um, like a perfect uh, reflection surface. S series has plus minus one on the same area. Also this is the one difference. We have also a little bit higher noise on some um, surfaces uh, to the higher uh, power system is another difference. And the third big difference is we have um, lower maximum scan speed. Also here is the maximum scan speed 480,000 measurement per second with the S series you can go up to 1 million and the S150 plus can up to 2 million. As a year a little bit lower in the maximum speed uh, with this system. Everything else is pretty the same. You have an, uh, also internal camera. You have normal mode and HDR mode. The camera have 160, 65 million uh, points and you have uh, up to five time HDR mode. You have a very low parallax because the camera sit here in the same area inside. Um, and all other things is what I said to you, you have a WLAN um, access point, you can control it by your mobile phone, you have a um, compensator and two axes, which have 19 arc seconds, it's pretty good. It, um, for this, uh, it's the same like on the S-Class, 
series systems. Uh, you have a compensator for the high, for the compass, and you have also an internal GPS system, but it's more for pre-registration. This is not a very precise system. It's like more your mobile phone GPS. Uh, what is also a difference is, is a little bit the, oper the, the operation temperature is 5 to 40 degrees. Uh, I think the bigger ones is 0 to 40. Uh, but you have also with some accessory, you have an um, external, uh, you have an also the option to have an advanced operation temperature from minus um, 20 to plus 55. That's um, an option. And it's an IP54 like the other system and laser class one also. And I give you one information what was not in the German video. This system have no option for the accessory. I think the accessory bay, what is behind them where you can put external systems on it. This is only works in the S-Class. The M-Class don't have this option, like the external panorama camera or the scan indicator that you don't can put here. Uh, this, but this is very specific, uh, but I give it to you. Okay, also a summary, uh, we have um, this, uh, we have, but we have the same resolution like the S-Class. Maximum resolution is 1.5 or 1.3 millimeters, also distance from two points and 10 meter difference from the scanner. That's pretty good. It's state of the art, like uh, all high class scanner have it. And um, you have a very good resolution. You are good also with the system outside. Uh, you have a little bit more noise in the point cloud on complicated surface uh, to an S class. You are a little bit lower with the speed uh, and you have a little bit more inaccuracy in the distance measurement. That's the difference to the high class system. Uh, the advantage is high class system is like an S150 or something. It's uh, or an S70 would have the same range, a 70 meter maximum range at 70 meters. It's like the price is more 40% more for an S to an M. And that is where the customer group is, or um, it's more the people they need a very good scanner, but they don't need the highest and the best one. And on the market, because there may be some people asked what is with the entry system, everybody knows. This Leica BLK 360 is the lowest price scanner. That starts below twenty thousand uh, dollars. What is the difference here? Uh, in this system, you have uh, on like twenty meters. Um, I think on the data sheet is the Leica have then six millimeter um, distance measurement error, and here you have three millimeter. This means on longer range, like uh, you have here a better accuracy on the system you can have a higher resolution and uh, and also I think the results outside if you have worse condition like with like with sunlight you get a better results from this scanner out because the wavelength is in this system a little bit different as um, uh, the BLK360. Uh, there are some people they say we tried both but we don't think this one is enough and the other ones is too expensive for us and it looks for, for something in the middle and for my understanding is this the position on the market and we see it here um, i see that in some countries like south european countries they're looking more on budget and money it's a very popular system uh, i know that some countries this is the most selling system here in germany on the fire world we have more the s series but now we figure out this for people from construction market this is a quite interesting system. They don't need the one millimeter accuracy for many application, and they don't need the high speed from the, uh, from the high end scanner because sometimes they make 10 scan, 15 scans. For my feeling, if you're going in normal rates, you are maybe one, one and a half minutes longer to a very fast scanner. This means uh, by 10 scans, you are 10, 15 minutes longer in scan time, but you save like regarding to other system like 15,000 euros uh, invest to the next step system like an S70, like an X7. And if you go more to the higher system, save much more like 50% of the invest price. And this makes the system very interesting for, we have these construction guys, uh, we have here in Germany a, wo a, wood, a roof maker, they make the wood installation. A lot of people, they're working with wood. Uh, we have here like here steel construction. Some of them use it. Some of them use also the S series for this. And now we get also from engineering offices like a civil engineer or they make static for buildings. They measure actually with um, this disto or with hand tapes measurement. They need a little bit more accurate, but they don't need these very high accurate. They are also in interesting customer group. As we see an increase in selling in this group and uh, this make the system very interesting for these AEC markets, especially for the construction guys. Can this uh, device uh, be a very good choice? And 
I think I have one, I got this from other video. Uh, for the people that are coming from the Faro world, they're having Faro devices. Uh, this is an entry market product, but it's fit complete in the Faro world. You can use the same accessory, like from our shop. Um, you can use the Faro software, it's fully integrated in the workflow. It's no uh, like a cheap, low mark device, but have this own bubble. It's complete in the Faro world. You can work with this, you can take an S-series, combine them in the scene software. If you're using SDKs, like as imported Faro data, like Recap, we have our friends from PointCap, but there is a lot of other, they use these. I think there are about around 180 companies there, or 200 software companies there supported the Faro data. You can also import this data in your software environment if you use these Faro SDK world. Yeah, I think I bring the most facts together for you. Uh, as you know, you know like the show works and YouTube works. Give me a thumb up if you like it. If you like to get more information to system, uh, then subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Bye-bye, Eric, um, to the next episode.